Good day, my name is Shoal. I work for company Market Graphics and we can be found on the web at www.mgfx.co.za. Alright, so the uh, purpose of today's uh, uh, little uh, recording and uh, video is to just show how the path of travel has been updated um, with Autodesk, uh, Autodesk Revit 2022. Right, um, I've got a little uh, um, simple little plan here. And I just want to show the path of travel additions. Right, so looking at the uh, analysis tab, um, we can uh, normally just do a path of travel uh, from point A to point B, and uh, it will then uh, recognize the particular obstacles. Right, we can. Uh, we can set these obstacles by going into the uh, settings under the uh, route analysis and then define which objects uh, are uh, the uh, obstacles. Right, um, okay, so that's what has been uh, already uh, in the software. Uh, the new one is multiple paths. So if I click multiple paths and um, it's just uh, obviously uh, with the uh, uh, separation between uh, um, you know people to uh, to to uh, uh, adhere to the COVID regulations, right? I'm going to go path A to path B, and what you can see is that um, it has created multiple paths: one uh, normal and the one uh, around uh, uh, that uh, longest route. Right. Um, okay. So uh, that done, um, we can further. Uh, restrict this uh, movement by adding one-way indicators. All right now, what if um, I, I can? I could also update this, but um, let me just delete the one. Um, right, so I'm going to just go uh, one-way indicator. So this allows um, people to uh, exit uh, only through this door, um, and then obviously enter through this door. So the path here um, adhering to these indicators would uh, obviously not work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the path and then just update it. So what has happened, there's a little update button. So what has happened, it's adhered to the to the indicator there, meaning that it can only travel from path uh, point A to B through this door um, and uh, adheres to the, to the indicators. Right, um, Additionally, also uh, they've added uh, some some people. So if I do add um, people in this area over here, um, it will then look at those uh, little objects uh, and uh, as obstacles. And then when I do the uh, uh, update of this path, it will um, it'll adhere to that uh, item and then walk uh, or the path would would uh, uh, pass uh, 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 around those obstacles. Right, um, so basically, uh, and then the last one, if I go back to the analysis, there is a little spatial grid um, that um, looks at the rooms of an object. So if I uh, add a, a room inside this uh, particular a little building and I go to the uh, analysis tab and the spatial grid uh, you have the ability to uh, select uh, which visual grid you would like I'm going to pick this one there's also spacing and uh, I'll say OK so um, it'll then ask me to uh, select a room I do that and then at the top uh, you just go and say uh, finish. Uh, what has happened is that uh, it's just divided the room into uh, uh, visually uh, uh, divisions, visual divisions, so that you can plan your design better. Um, you can also um, tab and select to uh, pick up these objects uh, or uh, parts and then move them uh, uh, up, down, left or right. Right, so um, basically that concludes our little uh, a uh, new feature video that's based on the root analysis uh, of Revit 2022.
Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.